Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to see how we can set up Azure AI search, how we can create a basic index, then we are going to import some data from Azure SQL. Once data has been imported from Azure SQL to this index, then we are going to run some demo query to see how this search look like. Let's talk a little bit about Azure AI search. Azure AI search is a fully managed search as service provided by Azure, which provides powerful and sophisticated search capabilities. It offers advanced search capabilities such as text analysis, AI powered inside, rich content indexing. It has also great integration with different data sources such as Azure SQL databases, Cosmos DB, Blob Storage and many more. It also provides great SDK support for different kind of programming language such as .NET, JavaScript, Java, Python. Now it also provides vector support and semantic search support which is widely used into generative AI applications. Let's see some of the huge cases where we can leverage this service. Suppose we are building an e-commerce platform where we are trying to provide some product search or filtering capabilities then we can go and try to use this service. Another example could be that if we are trying to build content management system then we can use this search capabilities and AI search for content discovery purpose. Suppose we are trying to build some website where media will be searched like Netflix or Prime Video type of UI we are trying to build then we can provide searching capabilities where it can be searched what media is there based on different metadata such as uh, actors such as based on genre and other things. As this service provides vector database support, vector indexing support and semantic search support, nowadays this service is widely used into generative AI application. It also used into RAG based application to provide contextual information to LLM applications. Now let's go to Azure portal and start demo. So right now we are into Azure portal where we have a SQL database software demo and we have a table called dbo.movies. I have inserted 20 record for this demo and if we run that we can see 20 records and if we go and try to see our data. So this has title, movie title, genre, director, release date, rating, description and actor names that details we have with these records. Now let's go and create a Azure search service. I will go to marketplace. Once we go to create resource pane, we can say Azure AI search. Azure AI search will be listed. Let's go and click on create. And if we go for description, it says that AI powered cloud search service for mobile and web app development. And this was the previous name was Azure Cognitive Search. Now the, this is the new name which is Azure AI search. Let's go ahead and create. Now let's create a new resource group. put a name. We can change the pricing tier. Uh, right now we are going to create one index and we are not going to create any vector fields right now. We will see that in another demo. And uh, I don't think we have only 20 records so I don't think we are just going to use more than 50 MB. And right now because of demo we do not need more search unit and replicas. So we can go for free tier. And if we go into scale, because we are using free, uh, right, we do not need to change anything. If we wanted to use a scaling feature, we can select the different plans. Right now, we are not using the tagging features. Let's review and create. Right now, validation is in progress. 
Validation is successful. Let's create. Now our resource has been created. Let's go to resource. So once our search service has been created, we can see uh, there are several information provided to overview pane, like what is the pricing tier and other details. So once we go to index, right now there is no index created for us. Similar for indexer, there is no indexer, there is no data source created, it is pure blank. And we can create one by one by going into this section and we can create data source, we can create index and we can create index by this UI. And also we can create using our JSON, we can do that way. And now for the demo purpose, we can try another option which will set up everything for us. So we can go for import data and we can click on import data. So it asks that which data source you are going to connect. So let's see that we are going to connect with the Joule, right? And we can see that movie equal data source, right? And it does not pick that capital, I guess. Okay, and let's choose our connection. So this is our SoftWiz API demo and SoftWiz demo where we have this data available. So we can select that. And we can, for production and other purpose, we need to use that system manager identity or user as assigned. But for this demo, we are going to use a only connection string. So let me provide my password. This is not the secure way. Connection is validated. Now we have to provide the table. So let's select the movie table. Now we are going into next page. Now these options, uh, cognitive skills is generally used for enrichment. So if we wanted to do any enrichment, we can do, but later we will see this part. So we will go to next part. And now in the index page, it gives that what index it will be because it connected to our SQL and it find all this table details. So let's put that one that what we wanted to use for searching and filtering one. So I'm going to title will be that searchable. I wanted to do search based on title and which analyzer. So analyzer is one of the setting where different analyzer are provided. I'm going to use this tinder for now. And similar thing I'm going to do, which field I think that I wanted to search, like I wanted to search based on genre, action or another thing. I wanted to search based on director and I wanted to retrieve that field. So I can do that one. Date type offset is generally not um, used for searchable. So that sortable, we can use this for sorting purpose into UI. So that's how we generally give that one. So I, I'm going to put that uh, all these details for right now. And then uh, all these uh, things for text base. So let's put that searchable. And it is now asking for create an indexer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can now schedule once hourly, daily custom. If you wanted to run daily and pull the latest data, which got deleted, updated, all the data you wanted to pull and in uh, keep index updated, you can do that with daily or weekly. I'm going to run right now once. And I'm going to submit this. So now it says that uh, all this, uh, whatever we have done, import successfully configured. Now, if we go to indexes, we can see that there is one index and we should have updated this name, but right now, Azure SQL index, document count is zero. We can go to indexer because we created one indexer. It ran successfully. It pulled 2020 data. It takes a little bit time to update it here, so it will come. And the same data source it has created. So we could have gone and created one by one, but it was better to go ahead and pull that one using that wizard itself. And rest, if we see, because we have not used any skill set uh, and other details, we can go ahead and see what are the different skill set and other things we can use from different places. We will see that later. There are a wide variety of skill set provided. And right now, because we are using the uh, basic one, uh, basic version of this search service, semantic ranker is not available. We will see that later how to enable that. Let's go and see the index that it came or not. So let's refresh that. 
let's see in some time it should be coming so after a couple of minutes we can see that our document count is 20 into indexes so we have not used any vector related capability if we wanted to see how it looks like then we can go for search here search explorer we can do searching from here we can see that all the fields which we created over there it is coming right then we can enable course we have not enabled right now like we can add a scoring profile where we wanted to score based on our logic so we can enhance that scoring engine we can provide the vector profile where we can go ahead and use that one and if our semantic ranker is enabled we can do the semantic search related settings also here so let's go back and we can search from this place also let me search that some movies so now if you see mad max Freddy road is coming and uh, right now second action is logan is coming right we can see let's see that comedy movie if we have anything right now comedy is coming right we can see that how that uh, search is behaving based on our genre if we wanted to search based on any title let's see that title right only that birdman movie is coming Similar thing search we can uh, do from overview pane also if you wanted to go and you can select multiple index if you have anything we can do from this place also and we can see and we can see that what is the search score and other things all the details is coming and this is what it returns to whatever retrieval field we have configured what searchable field we can configure all this is going to come. So this is what I wanted to cover in this video. In next video, we are going to use different capabilities provided by Azure search and we will see how to integrate with Cosmos DB or how we can integrate with Azure blob where on a structured data is there. Apart from that one, how we can enable the semantic search capabilities and vector search, we will see that one also. Thank you very much. I hope you will like this content. And if you like, please subscribe and share this content.